March 22nd. Moving this group this morning on some new pasture. Got this piece grazed off. First spring calf out there. Leaving plenty of fertilizer behind us. No need to bring out any of the fertilizer trucks on our pastures. Cows are doing it for us. They're harvesting it and they're fertilizing it for us. All we gotta do is move poly wire. <clears throat> Pastures had several months rest. I think it was late November we were in here. It's got some regrowth in it from the warmer days we've had recently. It's got a good mixture of green and brown, so it'll make for some good feed. Good balance. You get too much brown which is similar to hay. The manure pads stack up, you get too much green, they get the squirts. You gotta have a good balance. Make for some good manure pads. Good fertilizer value. Ah, you gotta feed them cows grain. You gotta feed them solid to get through the winter. Don't tell these cows that. They're getting it done off pasture, and if they don't, well, they can go to town. grass was grown with sunlight and management didn't have to plant it didn't have to fertilize it cows are harvesting it I mean when you think just feeding silage to a beef cow I mean a beef cow don't need silage to make it if they do they're way too daggone big way too big of an animal but when you figure the cost of planting it the seed corn planting it fertilizing it harvesting it storing it and then you got to go back out there and feed it all the fuel i mean how does that even pay you tell me I mean, it didn't cost us near that much, not even close, to feed this grass. <clears throat> so if them guys can make money, I know daggone well I'm making money. Because I ain't got near the input. But everybody's different. It's what keeps the world spinning. I just don't see it. They're herbivores, not granivores. They were made to get it done on grass. And with proper management, they can take care of the land. They can also tear up the land with improper management. That's why you see mud holes and 
feeder wagons and you name it. Just drive around, you'll find it. <clears throat> I mean, I'll admit, I make a little mud sometimes too. But as long as you give it rest, it'll come back. And you won't even be able to tell it was there. But yep, spring's almost here. Nearing the end of our stockpile. If I gotta unroll a couple bales, I will to get get through. I think we'll be doing just fine. After a year like we had back in the growing season, still be grazing in March, it's a good sign. It's a good sign. Gotta keep them girlies moving and manage them and your pastures. If they're not raising you a calf every year, get rid of them. Good calling makes for better genetics. <clears throat> Y'all must not be that hungry if you just stand here. Spoiled. Get fresh pasture every day, every two or three days. They don't need all those inputs, hormones, implants, wormer, fly spray, you name it. The list goes on and on. They don't need it if you keep moving them. And if they can't make it in your environment, sell them. Put them in a freezer. Oh, but putting that fence up takes too much time. I ain't got time to move my cows. Please. Don't take that long to build this fence. It's a whole lot cheaper than feeding hay. <clears throat> Step in post, poly wire, that stuff's cheap. A little bit of time setting it up, get you several days of grazing. <clears throat> yeah, it takes a little effort, but it's well worth it. You know, when you figure what it costs to feed hay to these girlies every day for weeks, months, it adds up pretty quick. go to sell your calves and you figure up your inputs just about the same as what you sold your cows for and you're breaking even well is it worth it at the end of the year you tell me gotta be out here all year well some folks aren't out here all the time they eat go by the Columbus effect they send them out in the spring and they discover them in the fall and they wonder why uh, they wonder why they can't make it but whatever that's a different topic <clears throat> nobody's making his way over
but yep. The more days you can graze, there's money in your pocket. The more days you're feeding, money out of your pocket. You gotta limit your feeding days and maximize your grazing days. If you wanna make a profit at the end of the year, that's your decision. But with that, I'm gonna get out of here, head down the road, see if we got any more calves waiting on us. Spring is in the air.